Hey, welcome my friends. This is vlog number 54. And I want to talk about... Well, I actually want to just uh, ask you if you have noticed um, the smell of uh, Barnes & Noble. Anytime you go into Barnes & Noble, it has this distinct smell of coffee and books or I don't know exactly what that smell is but um, it's a very appealing smell like sometimes I just want to go and walk into Barnes & Noble just to smell that smell and once I'm in there I'll look at some books and I'll leave but that smell is what brings me back a lot of times so I wonder I wonder if they somehow produce this smell on purpose to uh, get people to come back to the store because I don't remember ever going into a different bookstore that had that smell um, you know how they uh, they use MSGs in the food to make you like the food or crave the food or coffee the ca caffeine uh, makes you crave more coffee well I wonder if, if they somehow developed a smell that makes your brain trigger those uh, endorphins or something that makes you feel good and then your brain makes you want to go back again and again interesting thought uh, to me I've always known that there was this, this really good smell in Barnes & Noble so uh, I wonder if anybody else ever noticed that But, um, unfortunately, all throughout my years of going to Barnes & Noble, I think I've probably maybe bought five books at the most from them. I used to buy web design magazines there. Um, they had these really good magazines uh, for web design, for web designers. Uh, they were like thick and they came out I believe once a month but they were expensive um, I think the magazine was 15 to 20 bucks each and the subscription was like 120 or something a year or maybe 150 a year I don't remember but I never I could never subscribe to it the best thing I could do was to buy one every few months and just go through it. And I used to collect them a lot. Like, I think I had probably 20 or 25 magazines of the Web Designer magazine. Um, probably bought, like I said, about five books total from them. Uh, but I really enjoyed going there and just looking at books and, and, you know, picking one up and reading a little bit of it see if I like it um, just looking at all the magazines they have um, I like looking at the te technology section over there uh, and then the cars automotive section is really good too I like to browse through those that's my main go to's and then I also go to uh, to the business section and look at all the business books and lately I've been also going into the audio uh, section they've got some nice records over there um, and I myself have a few records but I've been thinking about buying CDs again there's really something about having 
that physical product with the brochure and the CD that comes with it. And just uh, having something physical to hold instead of just an audio file on your computer somewhere. Do you feel like that? I just wonder if, like, I feel like CDs might come back. Maybe even tapes. Anyway. That's all I wanted to say about Barnes & Noble. Alright. Have a good one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day.